Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, uh, I did the grab that upgrade from last episode for the P16 engine off screen. Um, but for today, I thought we would be doing two of the scout tasks that are still left for us on Drummond Island, uh, which is Forged by the Sea, which is to explore the abandoned ship here. And we would also be doing the Silent Observer, which involves us actually going up this path here. Um, so uh, let's head to it. We have enough fuel, we only have the 80 liters, the top uh, 40 gallons in the containers are empty. And we are using the CK1500 again uh, with uh, chain tires, the stock suspension, sorry, the stock um, gearbox, no race suspension, and a full truckload of repairs and tires. Speaking of, I should probably repair the engine, it's a bit banged up at this point. Uh, let's do repair. There we go. Oh, actually, do we not have any? Oh, yeah, there we go. We should do it from the truck repair supplies because the small roof rack only has like four wheels. Although you only see one there, I guess, and you only have a single wheel in the trunk repair um, kit. Also, this signpost is entirely floating, isn't it? Well, I guess road closed and the sign is levitating. Anyways, um, I've been kind of disappointed with the CK1500 in um, the last episode and in the interim. It's not really handling mud as well as I would want it to. I mean, just looking through it here, we're differential locking, low gearing, and it's barely going through some relatively mild mud. Um, we've had some issues, and also we've had a very... <laughs> had a bad situation going on off screen. Uh, I kind of flipped the trailer, but we should not talk about that. I wanted to uh, uh, do something, just you know, uh, fast forward it and show you guys a cool little thing. But that didn't exactly work out, so we're gonna be doing this instead. We're just gonna be going through here to save on, on some time, and I think we have to take a right here. I know I've been saying that maybe. Uh, you know, we shouldn't be taking and using the con so early on, especially since it's technically Russian locked, but somehow we can use it in Michigan. But uh, given how uh, the CK1500 is having this much issue with, uh, well, you'll see up ahead just listed this pile of mud here. I mean, even if we're having this much issue with this, I mean, I think we are kind of due to get a better scout truck upgrade uh, the one the other one we have bought the Lodestar actually uh, isn't all that great for this kind of situation uh, it doesn't have uh, really huge wheels uh, I don't think it even has I mean I'm sure it has a strong engine I think it has the 6 v 2100 which I think is the same engine which is on like the base star or something much smaller package, but uh, again, we don't have a race suspension for it, we have quite a few of the upgrades, uh, so that's not going to be an option. However, the con comes more or less stock with uh, everything you would need, so it's entirely possible that moving forward we would be replacing the CK1500 with the con. Uh, I want to go through like these sections a lot faster if I'm going to be taking the scout truck, otherwise I would just be taking uh, an off-road truck, my pay star or help. Even the fleet star, the fact that we've seen what it can do. Okay, let's be careful here, let's not dip too much. We 
we did complete uh, another scout objective in the interim between the episodes. Uh, but uh, it was more by accident than anything else, I just kind of ran over it. I did try to not uh, skimp on content for you guys and actually show you a full run through, but uh, there, sometimes here and there we'll have some accidents. It goes without saying that the content of those crates is of purely sentimental value. Still, if anyone asks, I'd appreciate if our little enterprise would go unmentioned, if you get my meaning. Okay, so some guy just asked us to come by here and check out the wreckage, which appears to be relatively, well, new. Doesn't seem to be like an old wreckage here. I kind of do wonder whether those crates, those containers are pickable, and whether, you know, the two ones are pickable, and whether they come in play at some point. I don't think so, but it'd be neat. Get, doing some recovery from those um, for those um, containers. Either way, let's uh, head back. We still have to do the silent observator, silent observer, whatever, at the observatory up here. I'm just marking down my path. And actually, let's uh, switch over the time, over to daytime. I mean, it's really, well, it's not like daytime, it's more or less evening. We switch, switched over to, um, to daytime. And yeah, it's, it's annoying how that functions menu sometimes doesn't really work how you expect it to. I mean, uh, we do have the issue that uh, if you press F in the function menu, it will actually throw out the winch. When, if you're in the functions menu, you do not want to throw out that winch because you already have the winch points available to you, so you can, you know, manually drag it. Uh, I kind of am hoping that the game will get a lot more updates uh, than it did so far. Right now, we're dealing with things which are more quality of life than. Uh, game breaking which yeah we, st we still have a few game breaking bugs like cargo falling through um, through containers and stuff like that through trailers sorry but I would like some uh, more quality of life things because in the end you know the big bugs you can more or less you make it a thing, you make it a situation, you, you solve that. Uh, because it's solvable most times. But um, the little quality of life things that just come back to bite you in the ass every time, every time, like five times an hour. Yeah, I mean, those eventually grind on you. Oh wow, this is a hole. This is actually a tipping option. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's not happening. Let's head back a bit. And let's see if we can get forward now. Uh, okay, let's try full differential. There we go. That got us out. Did a bad little mucky situation there, but we got through it. Slippery rocks making this path 15 times more dangerous. Not that the rocks per se, but just that they move around and you get like almost no grip on them. Okay, let's let's have a look here because I think I'd rather just just skip this entire thing. I mean, I, I think you just go up here. This would be smarter than trying to go via this tilted mucky route. saying sometimes you just have almost zero grip on these rocks and that's annoying as hell. Do we have any winch points? No, we do not. I mean, there's really getting stuck on that little black rock there. Okay, there we go. Finally got enough traction. Very 
first, right? No, 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 no. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, 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 and... Okay, then, game. I guess we're going the other route. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the actually dedicated route. It could have been worse, we could have just rolled all the way to the bottom of the hill. I had to redo the entire section, but... I was expecting too much, uh, as much trouble from the rocks, but you know, just, just look at this, right? Your wheels go all over the place, and you just end up in the air, you don't have any traction. It's really pretty, pretty terrible. end up wiggling your wheels until the geometry catches and you get enough traction. I'm glad to hear the observation points okay. It had to be a nightmare to fix with this terrible weather. Hey, you might want to enjoy the view from the ridge out there before the weather gets bad again. This is indeed a view. Let's uh, keep this uh, in frame for a second or two, just so we can have uh, something for the YouTube cover. Uh, anyways, I think that's been enough futzing around here. Uh, let's see what we can still do. Uh, what we have available. Uh, for sure, we want to recover this. Or, you know what, just let's, let's leave it here for the moment. Let's uh, refuel, just so we don't... So we know exactly what we're leaving, leaving this down with. But let's just leave it here unless we need it. Let's... Uh, Sorry, let's switch back to the garage in the, in the Smithville Dam. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? We have, we can do, we can try and do fuel order, uh, which is gonna be horrid. Uh, we'll have to get this horrible trailer. It's a, it's a trailer, not even a semi trailer. It's a normal trailer. And we'll have to get it out of the, um, out of the quarry, which is, it's always been entirely a horrible experience. But, you know, it's one of the last ones that's uh, completely unconnected to anything else on the map uh, in terms of uh, uh, quests, contracts. So let's uh, get doing that. What are we going to be using? Oh, we've done this with the Fleet Star, we've done this with the, with the Pay Star. Both times it's been relatively terrible. I am actually going to try and use the Pacific P12 for this. It's, I mean, we have a straight route up. So with, with enough uh, horsepower, we can totally just go straight up and out to the quarry and not worry at all about uh, uh, the little tiny paths. Uh, we, yeah, we should totally use the new engine we just got from the last uh, upgrade that I did in between the episodes and we picked up. We'll sell the stock engine that puts up us to a B plus power to weight. Uh, let's hope this uh, 12V is a lot stronger than uh, well, it should be than 6Vs. We we're using on the Paystar and the Fleet Star. Uh, there's nothing we can actually get for it right now. Uh, we are using the uh, the double wheelies, although personally, I think we should be using the um, OHSs. The OHSs are single tires in the back, a lot better for off-road. So we're gonna be using that. Also, uh, in case we do end up using the smaller paths, having less width in the wheels, because I think the, right, the double wheels go out just a bit more than the single wheels, would help. Uh, we're gonna be using the heavy winch, uh, sp yeah, sure, spare wheel, <laughs> and whatever a s high saddle for it. Uh, it does have a hitch mount. I'll be really, really sad if that doesn't really work with the trailer, but it really should, because, well, I can see it here. Um, I will skip, actually, let's customize it as well. If we're here, if we're here, might as well make this pretty. So what do we like? 
Uh, this is the stock ones which go down. Yeah, you know what? Let's keep them down. Keep that uh, that out of the way. Keep that uh, smoke out of the way. Beacon and fog lights. That sounds fantastic. We don't need the external horn. Uh, oh, we only have the stock front bumper. Okay, I guess that's fine. And we have two rims. Sure, let's keep these on. -ons. They seem chunkier. And what color do we want this? What color do we want this? I'm just gonna keep it this uh, this uh, dusty uh, desert gray, desert uh, olive, I guess it would be. <laughs> wow, this is uh, power supreme. But you know what? Let's. How does this look again? Yeah, it looks a bit too plain. Uh, I kind of like this blue scheme. So yeah, let's keep the blue scene, at least for a while. Um, and you know what guys, I'll uh, just get this... <laughs> uh, I think I might rather just not use the spare wheels, maybe those add way too much weight. But I was gonna say, uh, let's uh, give me like uh, 15 minutes of my time, uh, for you guys it'll be like 3 seconds. And we'll just be teleported right over there and we can start to get it out the quarry. guys, so we're uh, back at the quarry here, and oh, the next uh, left is actually quarry, but uh, I'm kind of having second thoughts. I, this is such a ridiculously um, wide, well not wide, but long truck, and the plan I had for the quarry involved me actually going over a very uh, a hill. I'm hoping that just because the trailer I'll have a lot more tolerance there, but uh, I feel like I'm making a huge mistake taking this into the quarry. But, well, at the very least, I guess mistakes are fun for you guys to watch, so we'll see how that goes. Um, now, let's just give this a first approach. I'm gonna try that path that we said we're gonna be using. Is there? Either way, just straight out the gate. Uh, this is a lot more stable, tilting wise, tipping wise. Over, uh, I mean, we've had issues tipping here with like all of our trucks. Okay, kind of hoped to be straighter before we go down here, but oh well, Salami. But, oh, well, apparently this works pretty well if we just bonk our engine a few times. Okay, so far so good. Now, what we need to pick up are those two containers, which we've been dreading ever since we first laid eyes on them. In uh, this quarry here. Oh, wow, yeah. Probably a terrible idea. Why do I do this to myself? Okay, let's hitch this one up and again, I, I hope it hitches. We do have a proper hitch on this, but first time using a heavy truck, so I don't know if there are any other limitations. Okay, traders too far away, that's a good sign. Okay, perfect, so this hitches. Great, so we have to get that out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and do the exact same thing because this is way too long for anything in this quarry. You know, who are to actually go via the side paths here. So, yeah, totally not a thing we wanna do. Maybe with a different truck, maybe, but either way. That's a heavy load, and I would not have trusted any other truck with it. Okay, okay, okay let's... let's... Yeah, let's do this. The, the wheel, the, top, the front right wheel of the trailer was going over that, over that rock there, and... They don't want that to happen. They don't want to tip this load. 
it's gonna happen anyway, but let's see if we can better manage it. Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, that doesn't look entirely pleasant. Oh no. Nope, let's stop that. That was a bad idea. Hmm. Anyway, we can fix this. Anyway, we can fix this. There we go, that got it out. Uh, so, we are going to be using that straight upwards path, so let's... Let's take it easy here. I mean, I'm even switching to low gear to make sure. Also, we haven't used all-wheel drive yet, so let's put that on. Uh, now... Let's get this down straight because we'll have to take a very long detour here. Just to make sure we go straight up without any other issues. Okay, that should be straight enough so it doesn't tip over. And now let's see if this truck can do it. It's a bit more. Yeah, there we go. Oh wow, are we having actual problems? Huh. I mean, I was hoping we don't, but apparently we do. The differential lock is trying to, but we just don't have enough. Let's try to do this in auto. Maybe it's a matter of uh, horrible gearing, but apparently not. Huh. Interesting. This is interesting, not in, not, in a, not in a pleasant interesting way, if you know what I'm, what I'm saying. Let's try using the inertia and going via this left side here. Okay, that's getting us where we need to go. But, oh wow, really? Oh, 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 okay, right, so this is really almost not happening. The problem, if, you, if you're looking at this, the problem right now is that I ha I'm having, I'm actually using not all my <laughs> wheels, doesn't matter, matter if I have all wheel drive on, just because I don't have wheels in contact with the ground, thus we're not pulling. Hmm. Yeah, this was exactly what I was fearing when I was driving this here, going like, man, maybe this is just way too long for it. This was a terrible idea. Terrible, terrible idea. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, a bit too... 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 Wow, I almost shot my pants there. I was gonna say a bit too fast, but... I ended up just saying too too for like 15... Times. <sighs> this was a terrible idea. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> well, we do have an alternative here if we really want to. Okay, let's detach the trader first and foremost. That trader is intent on giving me a heart attack, isn't it? Okay, uh, auto range, so we can move around. Let's turn off the boat drive unless we actually really need it. Um, okay, let's just look around. This may seem really bad. I mean, it's it's better than going straight up. We will get more clearance on our tires, but apparently we'll have other problems. Yeah, no, this this is not. Not the truck for that. Uh, we can just try and go the long way around, maybe. 
but that's gonna be entirely entirely horrible and that's if just after attaching this trailer we don't end up with the cargo tilted out of shape okay so far so horrible this was a terrible mistake let's take it easy let's go around I mean, who even dragged these containers down here, and why? And I want to congratulate the driver that actually got the trailer as well down here. I kind of think that out of all the use case scenarios that I could have, you know, done for my first use of the P12. find a better one. Also, wh why am I having so much trouble? I mean, yes, this has a, a poorer power to weight ratio than my other trucks, but you know what? I mean, it, it has a bigger engine altogether. It should be able to handle this a lot better than my other trucks. I'm actually disappointed now. Well, aside from the actual issues that we have of clearing small debris and like uh, you know that you know, this is the actual problem I'm getting stuck with the front of the truck with the actual steel roll bar in the terrain that's that's my problem and honestly that's not the problem I want to have That's not even discussing the problems we'll, we are going to be having with the trailer itself. Okay, that actually went pretty well. The trailer. Okay, seriously? 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 Guys, I am absolutely entirely and fully and entirely unimpressed. I mean, maybe this is not the use I mean, for sure this is not the use case for this truck, but man, really? I was expecting this to go better I mean for sure uh, that uh, that front roll bar I mean if I could I would just take it the hell off it gets stuck on absolutely everything okay let's try heading out at the very least we're one one level out of this but I mean, yeah, sure, this may work for, you know, heavy loads on relatively, I mean, really straight, but, you know, not fully off-road trails, but sadly enough, I don't have non-off-road trails. We don't really, we don't really carry this over paved uh, areas. And just look at this, right? I'm having trouble right now. My front wheel is off the ground just utterly because of the front roll bar. Absolutely terrible. And I, I guess maybe this would work a lot better in like uh, Lake Island, right? Where basically we have the option to... Well, the terrain is very straight. 
and sure we can totally use this against the mud and not worry about anything else but man having to worry about every little incline is terrible I'm trying to winch myself up here but honestly i wasn't really hoping to be using the winch anyway, let's uh this up here okay should be smooth sailing from now on but for sure I'm gonna be a lot more careful in the geometry of my trucks moving forward and I don't know what this is I mean really it's just okay, two containers I know how heavy they are but we've done double loads before, four slot loads before, and this is in the end a four slot load, but are you telling me that this powerful truck is having trouble right now just getting this trailer up the hill? I mean, yeesh, and this is not even the first engine, right? I honestly have no idea what's happening right now. Let's just break this and see if we have any... Nah, we don't. We can do this, but that won't help too much. What? Is there a rock I'm getting stuck on right now? This has been entirely too troublesome. Okay. So, that being done, sorry about that, that being done, uh, let's deliver this, uh, what was it, fuel order, right, right, I'm, I'm kind of hopeful that we will not be running out of gas, but it's entirely an option and we're going to be sticking entirely on road for this. I am completely not gonna trust the off-road capabilities of this truck just because of that uh, front uh, bumper getting stuck in absolutely any kind of incline and it's not even like uh, you know something you have to push through with extra force it's just an instant block it stopped you're done and even power wise we were having trouble going up that hill with this trailer. We've done more with less. I'll just... Uh, I'll, I'll give it another shot uh, because we do have an oversized car. We have um, a construction rig we have to deliver. So we're going to be using this for that. Hopefully it will be better maybe you know putting this on uh, more solid ground I mean straighter ground would allow it to shine more because of course you know sure maybe that wasn't the exact position you wanted this truck to be in but uh, still this wasn't the a very good first outing for it. I'm actually gonna go back on the P16 and just have a look, see if maybe the geometry of the uh, roll front bumper is any better. Maybe, just maybe. Uh, with 
that difference uh, is what makes the P16 a stronger contender. Sure, what, when we are right as we are on the road right now, it's uh, smooth sailing, it's fine. Uh, I'm not noticing any actual problems, it's going pretty fast considering what it's, what it's hauling. But to be fair, it's on road, on road. And we could pull this with the stock uh, Fleet Star if we really must, you know. So, on road, the straight flat route roads weren't my problem per se. You guys remember when uh, we did the last uh, construction rig trailer? Well, yeah, that was indeed a problem. But that's only problem because of the off-road nature of the game and some muddy sections, which includes some horrible geometry like little hills that just scrape the, the bottom of your trailer and stuff like that. And the reason we, why I would have wanted you know, a stronger, bigger truck is to just plow through that and not worry about that specifically but if that's not an option that's given to me with these uh, heavier trucks then uh, I don't know Level 12, we unlock a new heavy truck. So I think a caterpillar or something, something numbers, numbers. So I'll also be having a look at that if um, that is indeed what we unlock at level 12, which I think we should be unlocking. Yep, we should be unlocking after this mission. This uh, extremely wide base on it, well, extremely long chassis, is a lot of problems. I mean, it helps with uh, not tipping and stuff like that, but that really ain't saying much when you get stuck literally in, in the middle of a, a slight incline. Let's uh, be careful here, we don't want to lose this trailer over the hill. Okay, will that be fine? Will that be fine? I think it will be. There we go. Don't worry for a second there that the drop off the side of that little cornered bridge would be bigger than it was. But, so far so good. We are halfway up this mountain to deliver the fuel order to the warehouse and actually completed the last standalone contract before we get into the, those uh, chain contracts which are actually the hardest content in the game well, for this map anyway I've been talking and I'm still unsure whether I want to switch over to Alaska uh, quickly enough to actually you know scout all the map get all the upgrades maybe actually show you guys the snow part of SnowRunner Especially now that we will be getting the chain tires, I think, at 12 for the Paystar, the off-road truck. That's pretty much our options, I guess, for the next episode. Either we deliver that uh, construction rig, or uh, I guess we uh, 
start heading out in Alaska with uh, one of the off-road trucks. I don't know where all the fuel carriers are, all the fuel refueling stations are. If there's more than one garage in Alaska, I'll have to get that checked out. So uh, I'd rather have something that has more than uh, 60 liters of fuel. Even if uh, it has a better fuel efficiency. Okay, uh, either way, I guess this should be it. Surprise, we actually. I don't know, on road, this doesn't consume that much fuel. It's like 3.7 liters a minute. That's supremely good on, you know, flat, straight road. Okay, let's drop this off. management fuel order there you go that's level 12 that's a beast of a vehicle you got there <laughs> thanks uh, not quite off the road not quite top of the line yet though plenty more to do before a king of the road well yeah I guess you're right dude but either way uh, let's mm, we're getting a bit long long in the episode here but I think we have enough time to uh, go and sell this trailer. Uh, generally, I try to sell trailers if I'm not going to be using them or if they're close by to like trailer stores or something. When uh, I should be leaving them off. I don't really need cash per se right now. We have more than enough cash to get out whatever truck we want. But uh, I just like to have a light, slightly cleaner map. Anyways, um, this was uh, the episode for today, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, do all, you can do all that uh, cool YouTube stuff. Like liking, sharing, subscribing. Subscribing especially helps. Um, also, uh, ooh, let's stop here. Also, leave a comment down below if you really like this type of content. We are delivering it uh, daily. And I'm hoping to keep this up for as long as it takes for me to finish most of the things I care about to finish in uh, SnowRunner. Or we may be starting a new series uh, soon as well. I'm not exactly sure, but it will probably be a lot different than uh, than uh, SnowRunner. It'll probably be uh, some sort of turn-based game. We'll, we'll just see. But I am keen on also starting a, a new series. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.